I'm Martha from Leicestershire and Rutland Wildlife Trust and today I'm going to show you how to make a water filter like this one. The idea is that you make some really muddy, mucky, dirty, sloppy water and you clean it using your filter. So you pour your muddy water in and wait for the cleaner water to come out. The water won't be clean enough to drink but it's a fun activity and even better if you have someone to compete with. For this activity you will need a 2 litre clear plastic bottle although a smaller one would also work, scissors, some kitchen towel or a coffee filter, a container full of really muddy water, an empty container to put your cleaner water in. You will also need the materials to put in your filter like sand, stones, gravel, moss, leaves, grass or bark chippings. Don't worry if you don't have all these materials, whatever natural materials you can find will be fine. The first step to making your filter is to cut your bottle in two. You might need an adult to help you with this. Take some scissors and cut about a third of the way down, all the way around. You're left with two parts, the funnel and the bottle to collect the water in. If you find that the outside is a bit sharp, you might want to cover that over with tape. The next bit is to line the funnel with some kitchen towel or coffee filter paper. I've got a couple of pieces of kitchen towel here. I'm just going to put them into the funnel and make sure they're a nice snug fit. The purpose of the kitchen towel is to stop the finer bits or particles getting through. Next, you need to add the sand, stones or other natural materials you have to the funnel. Don't worry if you don't have sand or gravel, any natural materials you can find will work. Smallest should go nearest the bottom, larger materials towards the top. So I'm starting with some sand, then I'll add some grass. Next the leaves and the bark chippings and then lastly the largest bits are the stones or gravel. The idea is that the different materials will catch the muddy bits or sediment as the water flows through or percolates. The slower the water passes through, the more bits will be caught. Finally comes the fun bit, adding the muddy water to your filter. Pour it quite slowly and make sure the water doesn't overflow the filter paper. To get the water as clean as possible, you can pour it through your filter several times. Transfer the water into your spare container so you can pour it through the filter again. It's then time to compare results. Line up the water from cleanest to dirtiest. Who managed to get the cleanest water and why? For example, was it due to the type of materials they used or the order in which they put them? Perhaps have another go using their methods. But remember, don't drink the water afterwards.